All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jay, aka the Murder Whistle. As you can see, my co pilot is here with me today. We are watching part two of Back to the Future or Back to the Future 2, however you want to say it. As y'all saying, I really enjoyed part one, I thought it was really good. I'm very curious to see what happens in part two because at the end of part one, he said it's not them, it's their kids. So I'm kind of curious to see what their kids is like. Also, I want to know why he's now putting trash in, in the DeLorean, in the thing thing. I'm ready to see more Doc Brown because I think he's hilarious. I like Michael J. Fox a lot. So I'm very curious to see what's going to happen. I'm sitting here thinking what this one could be about. I really, I really don't know. Before we get into this, I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to hit that like, subscribe. Also, don't forget that bell notification. Do it for the co-pilots. Also, down in the description, there's a link to our Patreon. Over there, you get early access to my full length YouTube videos. There's exclusive TV shows, also exclusive movies over there as well. You get access to our weekly voting. Speaking of the Patreon, I want to give a shout out to the VIPs. I want to give a shout out to Leslie Trey, John Harold, Becca June, their beautiful dog Missy, Big Al Robin, Simon X, Cody Stoudemire, Frost1997, Jonathan Patrick, Lost Opportunity, Paul Sawicki, Grady B. Olson, Donnie Boy, Adam, Anna Rondo, Big Frank, JB, Echo, Naran, TJ Gingler, Kevin Riley, Red Tail Z, Thomas E. Johnson Jr., Steve McCluzo, and Brandon. I want to thank y'all for being VIPs. I want to thank the rest of the family for being here as well. I just want to thank y'all. Y'all make all of this fun. Y'all make all of this worth it. And before we get into this, here's a brief word from our sponsor. This chair has made a fast improvement on my reactions. Matter of fact, I love it so much, I decided to get a second one. As I mentioned before, I love playing video games. So instead of just moving this chair here, back and forth from in here to my living room, I just decided to get one for gaming purposes only. Even has premium award-winning gaming chairs and gaming desk. They have heavy-duty chairs that hold up to 550 pounds. They also have over 10,000 five-star ratings. They also offer up to a 10-year warranty as well. Since so my first chair was an E-Win Championship Series Aeronomic with cold care foam and pillows, I decided to go with the E-Win Championship Series Aeronomic with pew leather. The E-Win chair that I'm sitting in now is perfect for my reactions because it comes with the cold care foam. And since I'm sitting by the window, it is perfect for the weather because it always tends to be a little cooler or warmer right here. And the cold cure foam is always the right temperature. It's perfect. But since I'm going to be strictly gaming in the living room, I figure I go with the pew leather because it's going to be around the co-pilots more. As much as I love the co-pilots, the co-pilots do shed. The E-Win Championship Series with aerodynamic pew leather is an easy cleanup, and it's perfect to be around the co-pilots. Because all I got to do when they shed is wipe it down, easy peasy. This one comes with 4D armrest, adjustable tilt and lock, and height adjustment. Also, this here is my favorite feature right here, this adjustable pillow. So head on over to eatwinracing.com, and don't forget to use the code EOM so you get yourself a 20% discount. EOM tested, co-pilots approved. Like I said earlier, I'm really looking forward to getting to this. So I'll see you on the other side. Let's get it. How about a ride, mister? Jennifer. So this legit starts with the last one ends, right? Let me look at you. Marty, you're acting like you haven't seen me in a week. I wonder if he's still gonna look at other girls' asses while he with her. Marty! 
tell me that ain't Randy Savage. I know some of y'all said Bret Hart. That's Macho Man. All he got to do is drop an elbow. Jennifer's here. We're going to take the new truck for a spin. Well, bring her along. What are you talking about? Now, what happens to us in the future? Oh, no, that's not even the same girl. Mike DeLorean? I still like how it has the flames even though it's in the air. So that's probably bad that Biff seen that. Oh, so they fly like the Jetsons. So what happened to his girl? Why she? Why she different? You mean we're in the future? The future, Marty? What do you mean? Now that's the past. That was what six years ago? Seven years ago? Seven years ago. Doc, now you said we were married, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, I thought that at the end of the last one, because he never said they was together. I bet it's a big house with lots of kids and. What the hell are you doing? Relax, Marty. It's just a sleep induced alpha rhythm generator. Oh, shit. he he got the um the um the thing thing from Men in Black. The you know the what is it? The flashy thing from Men in Black. Thing thing. First, you've got to get out and change clothes. Is he gonna tell us why they got a full process on the back of that? You through the skies, Marty, but I was afraid you wouldn't recognize me. I went to a rejuvenation clinic and got a whole natural overhaul. Added a good 30 to 40 years to my life. What do you think? This month. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, they had so much hope for 2015, didn't they? All right. That was dope as hell. What the f jacket is that? This thing doesn't fit. I was just Perfect. You're the spinning image of your future son. What? That's his son? In exactly two minutes, you go around the corner into the Cafe 80s. Biff's gonna ask you about tonight. Are you in or out? Whatever he says, whatever happens, say no. You're not interested. Okay. I thought you said this had something to do with my kids. Look what happens to your son. Within two hours of his arrest, was tried, convicted, and sentenced to 15 years in the state penitentiary? The f*** you do? They really had so much hope for the future, didn't they? They would be so disappointed. We ain't got nothing to we got iPhones and um vacuum cleaners that can clean themselves. Well, not clean themselves, but clean by themselves. I don't know. Can they clean themselves? I don't have one. Jaws 19. Shut the f up. Shark still looks fake. Hi, friends. Goldie Wilson the third. Shut the f up. I just want to let y'all know in my head, I am dancing my ass off to this. Like dance routine, but I can't do it in real life. Welcome to the Cafe 80s, where it's always morning in America, even in the afternoon to noon. That's kind of creepy. Hey, McFly! You're Marty McFly's kid, aren't you? Biff? You're Marty Jr. What's that supposed to mean? Hello? Hey. Hello, anybody home? I don't think, McFly. I will, I will his ass. I swear I kicked that old man. Hey, Grams! I told you two coats of wax on my car, not just one. He's Griff. The f McFly! Yeah? McFly! What? Ah! 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 So McFly, have you made a decision about tonight's opportunity? Why is Griff wearing a football helmet? Now, let's hear the right answer. The answer's no, Griff. What's wrong, McFly? Chicken? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Nobody. Calls me.
Ain't gonna get his ass beat to a soundtrack. Shut the f up. Take a score! Stop! Look! I need to bore you. Hoverboard? Where is he? They really had high hopes for us, didn't they? Hey, that would be dope as hell. Something very familiar about all this. Oh, yeah, that did happen in the first one, didn't it? He got on elf shoes. Like, his boots got on horns. The buses didn't go where he's from, is <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's dumber than his granddad. He's dumb dumb. Buttheads. So. Drying mode on. Check the drying. That's dope as I'm a hundred bucks. Will you help save the clock tower? Uh, Lightning struck that thing 60 years ago. They still ain't fixed that shit. Cubs win World Series. But well, they kind of got that right. I wish I could go back to the beginning of the season, put some money on the Cubs. That, that wasn't the right year, was it? I wish I could go back to the beginning of the season, put some money on the Cubbies. Now, this has an interesting feature it has a dust jacket. Oh, he about to get paid. Money! I can't lose. Money! Up here! I left him in a suspended animation kennel. Einstein never knew I was gone. Einstein, how old is Einstein now? He's gotta be 40? Because this hoverboard incident has now occurred, Griff now goes to jail. Marty, we've succeeded not exactly as I plan, but no matter. Let's go get Jennifer and go home. What's this? Come to Marty, I did invent the time machine for financial gain. Hey, his shirt ugly as Put this in the trash. Great Scott! I don't know it up! Since her thumbprint never changes over the years, they simply assume she's the Jennifer of the future. Great Scott! Jennifer could conceivably encounter her future self. Coming face to face with herself 30 years older would put her into shock and she'd simply pass out. Or two, the encounter could create a time paradox that would unravel the very fabric of the space-time continuum and destroy the entire universe. I mean, that's a whole lot to have with this one. You see yourself. And this stays here. I didn't invent the time machine to win at gambling. I invented the time machine to travel through time. I know, I know, I know. Shut the f*** up! Oh, he heard all that shit. So, Doc Brown invented a time machine. I mean, what good is that going to... If he... What's good is going to do if he can't go back in time? Because Doc Brown only got the only time machine, and they're currently in it. Just take it easy, and you'll be fine. Have a nice day, Mrs. McFly. Also, they are together. Future. Was that her or was that her daughter? I get married in the chapel alone. How do you open the door? Grandma Lorraine. Sweetheart. Mm. Hi. I brought pizza for everyone. Oh, who's going to eat all that? Oh, I will. They had pizza in a bag? Did the toppings fall off? I don't think, think I'm, I'm chicken. chicken. Mm. You're right. Well, you're right. Like, is he going to stay upside down the whole time? I don't believe it. I live in Hilldale. This is great. Way to go. Marty, Why? stay here. Check on my house. We can't risk you running into your older self. Like, he's excited. That place is a piece of here. shit. Here. I'd be careful, old timer. There's a rough neighbor to see. Right here. here it is. So you pay with what you tell them to? You do everything what you tell them? Hello, hello. King of the castle. Hello. Oh, he looks like shit. So, can Biff can't steal the time machine, can he? The f What is walking the puppy? Why would they leave the tea there? When it's right, 
Can you just shove it in my mouth? <laughs> Don't you be a smart ass. How the f are we gonna eat that? Hydrate level four. That is a pizza bagel. Ooh. Is it ready? Shut the f up. Oh yeah, great, Mama. More like a couple of teenagers, you know. Why his mama look better than he do? Dad, it's for you. All right, well, I'll take down the den. <laughs> Why is he wearing two ties? What if the jits is monitoring, huh? Come <laughs> on. Stick your card in the slot. That phone tells all your business, don't it? I don't like that shit. Chicken. Nobody calls me chicken needles. Nobody. Prove it. I mean, Fly, you're stupid. Here's my card. Scan it. I'm in. Mark Fly! I was monitoring that scan you just interfaced. You are terminated! Terminated? No! No! Shut the f up! Am I glad to see you? Go out the front door. I love how the dog popped up. Hey, but, hey, Marty's a f idiot. He just lost everything because somebody called him a chicken. And that's great. Marty! I don't know if this bunch of man. Y'all might want to go check that out. Oh, that was the top of his cane, wasn't it? And then I'm going to destroy the time machine. Destroy it. You can't destroy it. You got another movie. Just imagine the danger if a time machine were to fall in the wrong hands. It already did, Biff the Ducket. Better that I devote myself to studying the other great history of the universe. Women. Bro, you can have all the time in the world for that. You're never going to figure that out. Are we back? Oh, man. Shut up. Woo! Yeah! I think my balls went inside my stomach. Oh my god. Let's put her in the swing. Then I'll take you home and you can come back in your truck and wake her. Y'all need to quit leaving her places by herself sleep. Don't worry, she'll be fine. You said that last time. I remember bars being on these windows. Oh, Look at all the dogs. Oh, Biff the fucked up some lady. So his family black now? These motherfuckers live in Detroit? You got a good shot to see? They are in Detroit. They say it's cold in the D. So Doc didn't notice none of this shit when he dropped me off. He just Doc, this was where I live. It's gotta be the wrong year. What the fuck did Biff do? 1985. It can't be. Drop it. Oh. So you're the son of a bitch who's been stealing my newspapers. Mr. Strickland! It's the principal! It's Marty! Who? Oh. Marty McFly! Marty McFly! Don't you know me, sir, from school? The school burned down six years ago. You got exactly three seconds to get off my porch with your nuts intact. Hey, bro, he got a shotgun pointed at you, bro. It's more blowing off more than your nuts. Eat I'll take it back. It's not as bad as Detroit. What the f*** has happened? Shut the f*** up. So... Cox 
toxic waste. Welcome to the Biff Tannen Museum. Inside, you will learn how Biff Tannen became one of the richest and most powerful men in America. Biff, man. See Biff's humble beginnings and how a trip to the racetrack made him a millionaire overnight. Learn how Biff parlayed that lucky winning streak into the vast empire called Biffco. Shut the f up. So he took that almanac and won all this money? And relive Biff's happiest moment as in 1973 he by marrying his high school sweetheart, Lorraine Baines McFly. No! Hey, no! Hey, wait, you come with us upstairs? Hey, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. That's the battle! The easy way. Why'd he go up him like that? So, hold on. Is this my... his mama? How's he here? Mom, is that you? Just relax, Marty. Is it your mom, mom? Or is it the person who don't know that your mom? Because on a good old 27th floor. Your mom's a ball tickly. 27th floor. Ah, ah, ah. Mom, are your titties out? Oh, everything's going to be fine, Marty. Are, are you hungry? Uh, I can call room service. So it's your mom, mom, but your mom got your titty, her titties out. All right. Oh, my God, it's your father. My father. <laughs> You're supposed to be in Switzerland, you little son of a bitch. My father. Did you get kicked out of another boarding school? Shut the f up. He's a butthead just like his old man was. Don't you dare. That makes me feel better. Well, maybe you'd like to have all three of your kids behind bars just like your brother Joey. As for you, I'll be back up here in an hour, so you better not be. I wonder how they feel about being bitches their whole life. He's my husband, and he takes care of all of us. See, now, what you do, you you wait till he sleep. And you tie him up, you put duct tape on his lip, and you cut his throat. Where's my father? Where's George McFly? The same place he's been for the past 12 years. Oak Park Cemetery. Oh, is daddy dead? No. This can't be happening! I'm afraid it is happening, Marty, all of it! Doc! I figured you'd come here! Bruh, did you not see the neighborhood you left me in? I went to the public library to try to make sense out of all the madness. Shut the f up, Biff, and killed him! So, can we go kill Biff? Recognize this? While we were in the future, Biff got the sports book, stole the time machine, and gave the book to himself at some point in the past. I just don't feel like. I don't feel like young Biff would be smart enough to listen to old Biff. Son of a bitch stole my idea. He mad he stole his idea, not that he murdered his father. If we travel into the future from this point in time, it will be the future of this reality. So y'all gotta go back to the past. Our only chance to repair the present is in the past. So how you gonna figure out what day? I'll ask him. That's Clint Eastwood. What movie are they watching? Bulletproof Fest! The guy is brilliant. And what the hell's going on? And he looked just like his son. I mean, well, his son looked just like him. It's a little matter we need to talk about. You have money, right? Well, forget it. I mean, why he kidnapping the mama if- Ray's Sports Almanac. Party's over. Start talking, kid. What else you know about that book? First, you tell me how you got it. How, where, and when. Take a seat. Sit down! Hey, bro, you're not gonna yell at me, bro. November 12th, 1955, that was when. This crazy old codger with a cane shows up. He says he's my distant relative. I don't see any resemblance. So I say, what's the catch? He says, no catch, just keep it a secret. That's crazy. He said, someday a crazy, wild-eyed scientist or a kid may show up asking about that book. And if that ever happens... It's funny. I never thought it would be you. What the hell is that?! Biff has never been smart at all. <laughs> You're dead, you little son of a bitch! And that's crazy that he was even smart enough to warn himself, though. 
Because I just don't see Biff ever being that smart about anything. I'm surprised he came up with the plan. Be no days like that. That Go ahead, kid. The suicide will be nice and neat. What if I don't? Lead poisoning. You're gonna match up the bullet with that gun. They couldn't match up the bullet that killed your old man. Now get the gun, shoot him with the balls. He messed with me, he just told me he shot my daddy. I mean, I knew he shot his daddy, but he just told me he shot my daddy. They parked in the same exact spot. Here's some binoculars and a walkie talkie so we can keep in contact. Get yourself some 50s clothes. Check that. Something inconspicuous! Doc, come in, Doc. This is Marty, over. Shut the fuck up! Are you there? Yeah, Doc. Hey! Hey, look, that little, um, that little, the black dude with the little thing thing, the, the ladder guy, my uncle that lives across the street from me, had one of those in his yard forever. Oh. Is this your ball? Yeah. Is this your ball? You want it back? Get it! <laughs> that's funny. Bring me a drink. And he's right next to him. Looking good, sir. Hey man, I bet Biff's ankles are cold. He need to pull his shoes up. And his pants so tight he can't even run right. It's a nice dress, Ms. Rain. Although I think you'd look better wearing nothing at all. Yes. Damn, Harvey! I wouldn't be your girl even if even if you had a million dollars. Well, we found out that's a lie. She lies a lot, don't she? Oh, watch it, watch. It's meant to be! She said girls ain't supposed to call boys, but she tickled balls. And now she went best because he got a million dollars. And vodka. You always did have a way with women. Get the hell out of my car, old man! You want to marry that girl, Biff? I can help make it happen. Oh, oh yeah, who are you, Miss Lonely Hearts? Just get in the car, butthead. Thank you very much. Now, why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? <laughs> Bet you a million bucks UCLA wins at 19 to 17. What, what are you, deaf old man? He just said it was over. You lost! Oh, yeah? Up. It looks good, folks. It looks very good. Field goal. UCLA wins 19 to 17. Hey, his time is impeccable. You damn fool! Never, never leave this book laying around. Don't you have a safe? No, you don't have a safe. Hey, Biff is extra, though. Oh, and there's one more thing. One day, a kid, a crazy, wild eyed old man who claims to be a scientist, is going to. Got the f How you gonna get out? He's got to book the old man's gun too. I'm locked in Biff's garage. You gotta find the DeLorean over here. Get me the hell out of here. I can't take the DeLorean out in the daylight. But don't worry, Marty. Somehow I'll get over there. Why can't you take the DeLorean out in the daylight? All you gotta do is fly. I told you, Grandma. I'm going to the dance. Dance. Oh, he had the most um book at the dance. Shut the f up. Great. What was Grace telling about? Oh. So you there with yourself? Marty, listen, we may have to abort this entire plan. It's getting much too dangerous. You must be extremely careful not to run into your other self. My other self? Yes. You about to see you. You're conducting some sort of weather experiment. How did you know that? 
Oh, I happen to have had a little experience in this area. So did he recognize himself? Hey, Biff has no f***ing, um, what's that called? You know how you can feel around you? He ain't got none of that. And his dad is goofy. Keep going. I'm reading. Biff said he read. He know damn well he can't read. He was dead at himself. Oh, bro, you're doing some risky shit. Bro, you are 5'2". You cannot reach that far. Well, well, uh, Mr. Tannen. How nice to see you here. Sports, statistics, interesting subjects. Homework, Tannen? No, it ain't homework, because uh, I ain't at home. <laughs> One day I'll have you right where I want you in detention. Slacker! How you gonna take my book? Oh, he getting a little saucy. His hair look a little longer. And he is ballsy. Shut up. I got caught right there instantly. That's his left hand, too. I got a bad left hand. So he took this bad book for no reason and just threw it away. No. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Shut the f up. Hey, you. God oh, damn it, come in. Marty, what's up? Doc! Hey, Biff's trying to rape your mama right now. Or is that your daddy? Mama has the damn cover. And where's Biff? Oh, yeah, yeah. Biff is trying to rape. Yeah. Right there. Stop it, Biff! You'll break his arm! Stop it! Of course! I gotta go! How, can, how did you forget about your mama about getting raped? Deja vu. Are you okay? It's mama bad, boy. Everybody just back up. We'll give him a little bit of room. Okay, a little bit of air. You! And he stuck the shit out of him. Damn! Hey, bro, you f*** it up! A fool in love. It's crazy that he I can see him plain as day now. But in that first movie, I'd never seen him. It was like he was a phantom. Money, come in. Listen, this guy's chased me into the gym and they're gonna jump. Me! Then get out of there! No, Doc, not me! The other me, the one that's up on stage playing Johnny B. Good! Marty, you have to stop those guys at all costs, but without being seen by your other self or your parents! Hey man, you're putting a lot of stress on me, bro. Like, why the f do I have to do all this? Come help me. Help me help you. <laughs> I'll go down with Rob. He knocked out. He doing a little too much now. He doing a little too much. Oh. Drop it on him again. Hey, butthead. <laughs> you think that stupid disguise would get by me? I forgot about him, man. He scared the shit out of me. 
Are you chicken? Don't be stupid. We we got a schedule. Don't be stupid. You lost your job in the future because of that. Nobody calls me chicken. You steal my stuff. Shut the f up. Like they got a DeLorean on GTA, but it got wings, you just glide with it. They should have just had it like this. It was doper. Oh, he still got the skateboard. West Virginia lost to Pittsburgh. Why West Virginia gotta lose to Pittsburgh? Eat a severe thunderstorm. Let it go. Oh. Let go of the car. Hey, he hold on good. Hey, Marty stronger than I thought. Because Biff hit him with a coat. Shut the f up. <laughs> he ninja turtle over that car and got that um, almanac. And that sounds mean, I ain't gonna lie. What you did in the last movie? If I was him, I would go beat up George McFly. Just because I couldn't beat up the dude I want to. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Did the principal make any copies or anything? What was your honor for? Now what? Shut the f up. Doc. Can two time machines travel at the same time? Oh no. Hang on, I got another movie. He's gone. Hey, hey, hey bro, bro, somebody coming behind you. Who was that? Who the f is that? Is your name Marty McFly? Yeah. I've got something for you. See, we've had that envelope in our possession for the past 70 years. 70 years? So what the f It's from the dark! I've been living happily these past eight months in the year 1885. 1885! September 1885! Wait a minute! What's this all about? He's alive! 1885? He need help! There's only one man who can help me! So, hold on! So, if this doc is in the West, and this doc is doing this, and that Marty just went back. I ain't gonna try to figure this out. I'm just, I'm here in the moment. I'm here in the moment. I'm telling you, my favorite thing about the car is, is that leaving the fire streaks. Oh, this about to f his mind up. Relax, Doc. It's me. It's me. It's Martin. Just sent you back to the future. Yeah. Oh, I know. You did send me back to the future, but I'm back. I'm back from the future. Great Scott. Doc! 
And they just be passing out, don't they? I already said to be it's said to be included. I I hit it. I ain't seen nothing else. Said to be included. I got it. I got it. All right. So we just got finished watching Back to the Future too. Hey, that's a wild ass ride. Like this did not end the way I thought it was going to end. Oh shit! And they didn't. Even, they never even. What the, the girlfriend still laying on the porch. In the hood. Hey, Biff done fucked the game up, hasn't he? Biff done fucked up all kind of shit. My man Biff is a bully, a punk, Harvey Weinstein, a plain out, flat out rapist, a murderer, a cheat, a thief, stupid. Like Biff, Biff didn't done it all. Biff might be the go to movie villains. All he need to do is add kidnapping and that may be it. Actually, no, technically. We could say he kidnapped Marty's mom. Yeah, he held her host he's he's holding her hostage. Never mind. Biff the goat of movie villains. Goat. Goat it. He's in that everything your favorite villain is done. Except Hannibal stuff. He ain't, ain't nobody. This movie go hard. Like, I like how it continue right after the other one. Biff, Biff got some money, and he was the definition of stunting on them hoes. Hey, because he he shut the whole town down. He tried his best to make it Detroit. He tried. And he was going to just shoot Marty. Tell me, I own the cops. Bit a hey, Biff the goat. I don't care. Y'all can't tell me no different. So are we gonna get a Biff in the third one? Because as much as I'm excited to see Marty and Doc Brown, I need a Biff in my life. I need, I need Biff to be in the third one. Hey, he go. The future. They had so much. They had such high hopes for us. We have let. We have let Back to the Future down. We have let them down. Spielberg, all y'all who made this movie, hey, we apologize for our failures. Y'all really thought we wasn't going to do a bid. No. We we got fast food places. We got two drive through speakers. We ain't got no hoverboards. We kind of had the shoes that Marty had on. Kind of. We don't have Jaws 19. Hey, this is this is a fun movie. This this has been I know it's a trilogy, but these two have been fun back to back movies. I love how they have like each character has fastly changed, but it's still the exact same. Like they still have the same core, same principles, but they have changed a lot. And oh Marty need to get over that chicken shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you even lost everything on that chicken shit. You know? Every time somebody can ask you, you want to be a, are you a chicken, you lose something. Stop it. Call me a chicken. I don't care. I'm petty. I cluck in your face. I don't care. You hurt my feelings. I'm look, really looking forward to seeing the third part. Because he he mentioned the Old West before in the um, start of the second one. He said he really wanted to go back to it before he, he destroyed the DeLorean, but he don't get a chance to. But now he there. And my man wrote him, wrote a letter. And they kept the letter for 70 years. I threw that bitch away. I'm telling you, I threw it away. They, hey, they are good. Western Union. You're good at your job. I tossed it. I'm actually to see how he even gets back there. Because the DeLorean is gone. So how do he even get back there? You know, I'm I'm stop worrying about it. I'm living in the moment. I'm just gonna live in the moment. Um, so I said, I can't wait to see the third one. I hope y'all enjoy watching this with me. I enjoy watching with y'all. We didn't do it for me earlier. Please do it for me now. Hit the like and subscribe. Don't forget that bell notification. Also, don't forget to check out the link down in the description with the Patreon. Like I said, we got some merch coming y'all's way. We're really excited about it. We hope y'all like it. 
Uh, I'm going to tell, tell y'all a little bit more about it later. See, Ron's excited about it. I got questions, but I'm going to wait. <laughs> I'll watch the third one. Let's see if they get answered. Y'all be good. Y'all be safe. I don't know where they're going, if they need roads or not. I'll find out. <laughs> Until next time. Night, night. <laughs>